All right, everybody, welcome back to Tough Run Metal Detecting. Uh, I'm out here with Oki and Dave again. I'm out for a joint hunt here, a prospective site here with some old, old history. So uh, hopefully we can find something. All right, man, see you at the first good target. Welcome back to Tough Run Metal Detecting. This is my first good target. I had a pull tab earlier, half a beaver, beaver tail, uh, but I got... I don't know why my phone's tweaking. That's weird. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you know what that is, let me know. I have no clue, so. All right, it was down about a foot. See right there. <laughs> On to the next. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back. I just got another iron relic here. It was bouncing high, but a low iron grunt on the MX Sport there, so. I dug it, it was down about four or five inches. Uh, below the grass, below the land level. So, I don't know what this is. If you know what it is, let me know. All right, on to the next. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we kind of had a bunch of just uh, some iron relics over there at the, the first place we went to. So, I brought uh, Oki and Dave out here to my spot, uh, the field with the soccer fields. So we're here trying for the next little while and seeing what how we do. And I just got a 75, 76 signal here, so let's see what it is. Oh, ho, ho. sweetness! Guess what I just got, Oki? My first Washington State tax token, baby. Really? Oh yeah! That was a 75-76 on the sport, man. Like two inches down. First of many. Wow. And it's beautiful. Come look at this. It's not Just, even... Uh, oh, you, man. You, you may be excited now, buddy. Yeah, I know. You don't, you don't realize what you just, you just opened up. You started, you I, know. Talk, buddy. <laughs> I know. I know. All right, going, man. man. You opened that <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful oh, yeah. oh man, that's a beautiful tax token. Oh, all right. What do you got? We'll get to the next no. next uh, target here. Shiny, so, all right, my first Washington State wrong. tax token, you man, it? yeah. and it's a beauty. All right. So Dave just got a nice uh, signal here, second good one here, and it's a nice silver ring there. Sweet, good job, buddy. Thanks. Yeah. All right, we'll see you at next good target. All right, just got a whoop from Joe over here, and looks like he, uh, he pulled a wheat penny here. Yep, digging through the old trash pile. Look at that. Got me a little wheat penny. Nice. I don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Can you see that on uh, there? Maybe. My 40-year-old eyes aren't working right. Uh, 27? Sweet. I'll take it. I can't I keep smudging dirt into it. Yeah, I got a brush. That's good, dude. All right, yeah. So nice job. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying right not to on. blind you too much here. <laughs> You're good. You're good. All right, we Go got on. a weedy. All right, on to the next one. But, uh, Dave just swung over a half-eaten bagel. Hey, got a signal, and check it out. Friggin' fifty-cent piece from 1908. Looks like it's a Canadian coin here. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Way to go, man. A bagel. Over the bagel. Who'd have thunk? Go for the food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> On to the next target. Wow. All right. Uh, Dave just got a, another good signal over here, and I don't have the light oh. on it. Yeah, I've turned my flash off, but looks like it's some kind of commemorative George Washington coin. Flip it over. There's a a one dollar and a Statue of Liberty on the back. So I've never seen that. Never seen Pretty one. Pretty cool. All right, man. Got to figure this one out. Way to go. I didn't find a bagel on this one. <laughs> no bagel this time. <laughs> All right, on to the next good target. I think it's 2012 probably. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I just got next good target. It was a 7980 here on the MX Sport, and it turned out to be a nice, solid brass buckle. That's missing the tongue, but that's all right. I'll take this any day. So, all right. We'll carry on to the next good target. All right, everybody, it's been a little bit, but uh, I just got my first weedy. Now, uh, Oki and Dave over there both have gotten uh, a few weedies. 
But uh, this is my first one, so I'll take it. All right, I love that patina. It's beautiful. All right, on to the next. Uh, this hunt's almost over. Got about 30, 40 minutes left, so hopefully I can find something epic at the end. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Catch you at the next hole. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Look what I just got. This is my very first buffalo nickel. Now I can't read a date on it. I'll try and clean it up a little better when I get home, but uh, you can see the Indian head on the front there and a buffalo on the back. All right, man. This is awesome. I'll take that any day. All right, on to the next target. All right, everybody, I just got a bouncing 8485 signal here on the MX Sport, and uh, check it out. You have a pocket knife. Paneling is all still intact. I'm going to try and clean it up. I doubt I can open it, but all right, I'll take that anytime. On to the next target. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, I just found my buffalo right over there, and uh, I got a nice signal here. It was a low 80s ish. Uh, and check it out. It's like it's uh, some sort of lieutenant bar, is what, I'm, what I was told. Uh, that's what Joe told me, so, or Oki. But if you look on here, it says, oh, it's upside down here. Dang it. Check that out. That says N.S. Meyer Inc., New York. And yeah, silver filled, something silver filled at the bottom. So, pretty awesome. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> I love it. That's my first uh, anything similar to that. So, uh, all right. On to the next target. Thank you for watching, everybody, by the way. I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all your support. So, that's pretty cool. Anyways, see you at the next target. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's got a good signal walking back to the other two, and I don't know if this is silver or aluminum. It seems kind of light, but it came out of the ground really nice. Looks like it's some kind of fake cob coin again. Uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll brush it off. All right, so everybody, I brushed it off, and it's definitely not silver. It's got, I can see the edge where it was put together, but still pretty cool coin. I'll take that. Anytime, so it's just like my fake cob, you know, it wasn't real, but still pretty cool to find out here. Uh, someone's lost history, even if it was new. Er, so all right, I'll catch you if I find anything else. Walking back to uh, meet the other two, so meet Joe, uh, Oki, and uh, Dave over there. So, all right, see you in a minute. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, we just finished up here, so we're taking off and. Uh, yeah, I had a great night. I'll get back to you when I get a wrap-up done. Uh, I want to get ready around to the wrap-up. So, all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, everybody, welcome back to Tougher and Metal Detecting. Uh, here with the wrap-up for my hunt tonight with Oki and Dave. We tried a couple different spots. First one didn't really pan out so well. Uh, we ended up finding some big iron here. So I found that piece and that piece. And I think I found that piece out there too. So I didn't film all of it, but uh, I did notice that this piece here has the letters OC on the side there and some other text or pattern and it was cut off, it looks like. I don't know. If you know what this is, please tell me. I have no idea. So I don't know what this is either. It's a big old chunky bracket for something. I don't know. I have no idea. And some kind of corroded saw blade or machine part. It's got a hole in one end. And this actually has two holes. I didn't hook that through, but it's got two holes there. Pretty cool. That's my big iron. There's my junk. You see some foil, some an old vintage pull tab. Uh, just nails, another pull tab, some foil, some tin, all the other usual crap. So, all right, onto my good stuff. <coughs> so. I'll go down left side here. So first of all, I found this looks to be a vintage light bulb of some sort, and it's got the letter F stamped into it here. So pretty cool. 
I've never seen one like that. So I don't know how old it is, but it looks old. Uh, I did find these two matching bottle caps. We got like a fingerprint whirl on it. Two of them. And this little pocket knife that's falling apart. So that was pretty cool. I found this. Looks like to be a piece of an old washer, maybe, or an old ring. I don't know. It's flat, though. So, pretty cool. A couple more lids there. This one says Sharp and Dome. Now, I don't know that brand, but uh, I'll have to do some research to see if I can find anything about it. Alright, uh, on to my better stuff. So, this is a nice brass buckle I got there. Older. This is the neck to an old hoe, like for gardening. Uh, the hoe blade would go on right there, I guess. This is what I was told. So, pretty cool. It's from the, supposedly from the late 1800s, so I'll take that any day. And then we'll start up here with the coins. So I got uh, four Zinkins, one clad quarter there. I did get one wheat penny. Uh, the other guys, they both got some Wheaties, so that was pretty cool. I got one. Don't have a date. Uh, I did get my first Buffalo nickel tonight, so that was pretty cool. And that looks to me, I can't tell, but it looks to me like it says 1937, but I don't know. It's hard to get a date off there. Anyways, pretty awesome. I'll take that any day. Alright, this is a 1960 copper penny and it came out beautiful. There you go, beautiful, beautiful. Now this is a strange coin I found, so I cleaned it off and it's obviously fake. But you can see the seam there, but yeah, it's just like my other fake cob I found out there. Except this one's made of like a different uh, lighter material, so I don't know, but I'll take that. And I did find another first here. This is my first lieutenant's bar. And this one, I wish it was solid to silver, but it's not. It says NS Meyer Inc. New York 120th Silver Filled. So, I'll take it. That was pretty awesome. It is a relic, so. And then I did get this brass looking hook thing. I don't know. Saying. Uh, sang on my machine like it was a penny, so way cool. Anyways, and then I got my first and second Washington State tax tokens today. This is the very first one that came out of the ground. And check that out, the thing is beautiful. Now people say, ah, another Washington tax token. That's you, Oki. But I'll take that. This one didn't fare so well. So, anyways, that's my. Good hunt. Uh, you saw Dave found that 50 cent piece and uh, Joe found some Wheaties and uh, uh, Dave also found a silver, um, that silver ring that you saw. So uh, we all in all, we had a pretty good night. Uh, it was a great time. So I will catch you next time I get out hunting. All right. Thanks for watching.